All right, guys. Um, I'm going to do one question, and then you're going to do one question, and then I will do another one, and then you will do another one, and then I've got a worksheet that I would like you to have a look at. So the first thing is, uh, the first question that I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a straight line on this. It's going to go from this point, and it is going to go down to uh, let's say here. So this line is sloping which way? It is going downwards. I'm just going to change the color. Right, and the first thing I'm going to ask myself is, okay, how do I work out the gradient of this line? Okay, so gradient is equal to vertical over horizontal. So I'm going to pick two points on the line. I'm going to pick two points. I'm not going to see. I could pick this. I could pick any point I want, but I want to pick a point that is, you know, ex going through a whole number. So for example, this one, that's going through five on the y-axis and negative two on the x-axis. And I'm going to pick another point. I can pick whichever one I want. So I could pick this one. Looks like it's going through a whole number. I could pick this one, okay, but let's go with this one. This point is, um, oh, I've made this, okay, well, let's go for it. What's halfway between 1 and 2? Oh, 1.5. What's halfway between 3 and 4? 3.5. Okay, so if we have got our diagram, we can draw ourselves a triangle. And we need to work out what the vertical is. So the vertical is, okay, now let's have a look at our units. We're going from 3.5 up to 5. So we're going from 3.5 up to 5. So that's half a unit. That's another half unit, which is 1. So that's 1 1.5. And let's see our horizontal. So I can see, okay, every two boxes is one whole unit. So one unit, two units, three units, 3.5 units. So our vertical is 1.5. Our horizontal is 3.5. That gives us an answer of, if I put this into my calculator, which you should have with you. Sorry, 1.5 divided by 3.5 is 3 over 7. Which we can write as a decimal if we want as 0 0.429. Okay, so the question I want you to do is very, 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 very similar. What is the gradient of the following line that I'm going to put up in just one second? Okay, so what I want you to do is what is the gradient of this line that I have drawn here? I'll label this A. So what is the gradient of line A, B? So you're going to do it the same way. You're going to do vertical over horizontal. You're going to make a triangle. Now, I will even help with the triangle. You want to pick two points. I suggest that you pick, let's say, this point, and you pick this point. So make your triangle across, and then you need to look at the units, okay? How far is it along the horizontal? What is the vertical distance? Okay, and type in your, actually I give it as a multiple choice. Okay, let's have a look. Our vertical distance is, that's one, two, three, three units. Our horizontal distance, one, 
two, three and a half. So as a fraction, our answer could be either it's six over seven. And if you did it as a decimal, you should get 0 0.857. Okay, hopefully you got that. Okay, the second question that I will do is the following. All right, so for this question, we're going to label our points. So X comes first, we've got X1. This one is Y1. We're going to label this one as X2. We're going to label this one as Y2. And we're going to use our formula this time. So remember, our formula is Y2 take away Y1 over x2 take away x1. All right, so y2 is 6. We're going to subtract y1. So we're going to subtract, what is y1? It is, we're going to subtract negative 4. x2 is negative 2. And we're going to subtract x1, which is 1. We can put the top line into our calculator. And we will get 10. Put the bottom line into our calculator and we get negative 3. So our answer is, we can leave it like that, or if we want to write it as a decimal, negative 3.3 .3 recurring. All right, now the second, the one that I want you to try is as follows. Okay, so this is the question that I want you to have a go at. What is the gradient of the line passing through the points A, which is 3, negative 8, and B, which is 4, 6. And I've even labeled the points. This one is x1, we've got y1, x2, y2, and you're going to use your formula. I'll write even down the formula for you. You should be doing this as well on your piece of paper. And then your next line is that you're going to put in the points okay and work out what you get and you can i will give you some uh, possible answers for your multiple choice okay have a go at that now please okay so let's see how we got on so y2 take away y1 y2 is 6 take away y1 which is negative 8 divided by x2 which is 4 Take away x1, which is 3. So I end up getting 6 take away negative 8. You can do it on your calculator. 14. 4 take away 3 is 1. So our answer is just 14. Hopefully you got those. Okay, and uh, I will post the worksheet onto the uh, lessons for this week. Okay.